Hello everyone, welcome to Talks Writers. In this video we want to go for, for a demonstration of CMake in action and as an example we want to use CMake to compile MMG, a very powerful mesh generator. So let's go for it. Okay, MMG. We have to search for MMG platform to find it. Now, this is uh, something that you, I, we will have, you know, dedicated videos for MMG in the future for mesh generation. We use it a lot in our applications. But uh, as a general introduction, I can say that this is indeed a sort of uh, a code, a sort of library and binary you can use it in you know two different ways you can call it in your programs as a library api stuff or you can directly use sort of yeah, executables but binaries like an uh, a sort of standalone program but it is indeed you know mainly used for implicit meshing for for mesh modification and mesh generation in general and at Kuwait, yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's quite nice and has uh, different applications. But uh, in this video, we want to see how to install that using CMake. And then you see that how CMake can, yeah, can be employed to facilitate the, the installation and the compilation process of programs in comparison to traditional make workflow, similar to the one that you saw in the previous video. So here it says that, yeah, you can download it here. We can also download it from GitHub. Uh, and you can directly download the binaries here. So uh, if you go for this, you don't need to compile it. But yeah, we want to compile it because, yeah, we already discussed the advantages that this kind of installation, uh, uh, you know, brings for you. So uh, we have to go to GitHub in this case and download the code here, or it says that you can directly download the GitHub uh, compressed source file. So we go for, for GitHub, it's not important. And then there is also a setup guide here, I think in the wiki, yeah, wiki pages of this MMG. So let's first download it and then uh, we come back to that. So here I create um, in my home directory, I create a new folder called MMG and I go inside MMG and here uh, we download uh, we clone the repository of MMG so let's see what happens I think I have git installed yeah uh, yeah the repository is cloned so now I have cloned this repository alternatively you can go to these releases uh, section and download the appropriate uh, version that you want you can download the source code and different compression uh, formats but yeah here clone is much uh, uh, more straightforward let's say so we have MMG here you see the same structure as the github repository and now we have to go uh, for compiling that so we have another MMG here and this is the directory structure. Let's see what we have here in the setup guide. You said that, yeah, I, I told you for CMake, we usually create a build folder and we go inside that and call CMake from the parent directory. This is exactly what we did in the CMake video. Check it out if you, you haven't done that yet. And here there are different options. You remember for the make we had options with double dashes and here for specifying different variables in a CMake build process we can use the switch D. And you see that there are different things. So MMG has three different, uh, you know, three different uh, sub projects or two different sub binaries, let's say, or libraries. One is 3D, one is 2D and one is for surfaces. So you can say that, okay, with these, uh, you can enable or disable some of them. So we want the library, we, we want the binaries 
and we want for example just imagine that we want the uh, the shared version of the 3D library. In the previous video, I told you about a shared and static libraries and their differences and, you know, sort of when you can use, for example, it's better to use static libraries or better to use shared libraries. So I don't want to go for that again. But uh, yeah, these are the things that we can specify. You can see I told you for the switch D, you can say CMake and then with appropriate switches. Like here it says that the bug uh, we, we want a build type to be debug, the, the default is release, and it says that, for example, for the 3D version, we want the the shared uh, library. And it says don't use Scotch because then it, the, the build process will be involved in uh, building uh, the Scotch. But by default, it, it uses that if it can find it. And uh, in the previous video, I told you about the most important uh, Aspect of this compilation, uh, which was indeed uh, the prefix. In CMake, if you want to, if you want to specify the prefix, you have to use this variable CMake install prefix. So we also go for that, and uh, yeah, we switch D. And after doing all these things, we have to uh, type make or a specific version of that, or make to compile all the, uh, all of them. And then we have to call make install. So you see that it's more or less the same as make as a make process, but uh, yeah, we, this time with this uh, let's say CMake. So let's go one by one. Uh, we create a build uh, directory here. We go inside build, and here we have to call CMake in the parent oops in the parent directory. But before that, we have to specify a couple of options. So I say that, yeah, as I told you, because by default it doesn't create the library, it doesn't build the libraries, I want the libraries as well. So I have to specify this one. I want it to use, uh, to build the shared library of the 3D version only for me. And I also want to specify the prefix, install prefix. So CMake install prefix. This is very important, as I told you. So I say CMake install prefix equals to, let's say, home folder. And we had MMG. And very similar to, to the previous one, this is, you know, didn't sort of naming convention that I always use, MMG install. So we want to install to be installed here. So we call CMake on, a, on the upper directory, on the parent directory of the build, which is indeed where CMake list file is located. If you remember, I want to show you here that this is indeed CMake list.txt file is located. This is uh, why we have to say go to the parent directory. We press enter. It says CMake is not installed. How that's possible? Oh, previous video I, I recorded on my local machine. This is indeed inside a virtual machine. So, uh, no problem. We install that. It's quite simple with these package managers. It's, it's also quite fun to know that uh, you can uh, also compile CMAC. You can go for installing the latest version on the website and obtain the source code and compile it using make. This is something that you can do. I told you in some cases, these repositories are all outdated. They are not up to date. And then, uh, yeah, you can grab the source code there and uh, compile CMAC. This is, now you see that it is very simple to, to install programs using this sort of compilation. So, uh, now we have CMake install and we press enter and now this is the, you know, the sort of, um, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, um, the output that CMake has and it says, yeah, you, you know, this, this isn't complaining about the sort of things. It says that it is, Elas is not fun, but I think these are quite, these are not, uh, these are just warnings. We don't care about these things and it says that the VDK library is not fun and so VDK output is not available and you know these sort of programs are developed in a way that they, they can be customized during the compilation process and as I told you in previous videos this is indeed one of the advantages of this that this kind of installation will have so you can easily and 
take advantage of the flexibility in the source code. You can disable some of the features that you don't want or some of the, some of the features that your system doesn't support. For example, at this moment, I don't have VDK library installed and I don't want to use the VDK features of the program. So in this way, this is, you know, simply ignored and this is not compiled for me. So it says that the build files are written here and then I can use make to, to compile it. So I type make and I think, yeah, this one also takes uh, quite some time, but the, you know, the advantage of this CMake uh, compilation process is, um, is that it, it shows you the progress as well. So almost one fifth and yeah, I'll, I wait and then, uh, we continue after this compilation uh, finishes. So let's wait, wait for that. And uh, yeah, this is uh, finished. As you can see that it has also, co it compiled the 3D and uh, the 3D library in a shared library way. So, and also the binaries. I, yeah, if you uh, follow the, the, the oppo, you, 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 you saw that, yeah. They are indeed um, there for, for different uh, binaries. And uh, you know that now we have only compiled the library. We haven't installed it yet. In order to do that, we can yeah go for the traditional way, make install. And now we know that by having the prefix specified during the CMake, the, what we were calling the CMake command, we specify that and now it should be installed there. So let's see. I told you that if you want to install it in a default location, you have to provide, you have to execute this command with sudo. But in this case, you saw that you see that there are installed here in this location let's go for it we have mmg and mmg install you see that's again the standard structure we have been with the uh, with these uh, you know three tools three binaries of mmg and then we have lib with the library of with with all the linked libraries as well as the the library for for the 3d version only so static library for everything and a shared libraries for just a 3D version. And you see that there's are in these three files because this is, uh, this is nice to know that this is the way that usually libraries are uh, structured on Linux. So the most accurate version versioning or let's say naming of this library is 552. But this is generally version 5, so there is a link to this file. You know, this is not a copy. This is just a link, a hard link to this. And then, uh, uh, sorry, a soft link to this. And then another soft link to this one without any version. So programs can easily find this. And if you have different libraries of this, you know, different version of the same library in your system. In this way, you can easily assign soft links to this version. So this is indeed pointing to this one. And, you know, in at some specific point, you can decide to change it to another version. But yeah, this is, this was, you know, just to, as, uh, as, a, as an extra information. So we have installed everything here. So we can go to, let's go back to, to MMG install. You see that we have bin directory here and these are into the files. So I can run, for example, MMG 3D, 3D. And you see that, yeah, this is indeed uh, what we have and MMG is installed. So it is indeed ready to be used and we can also call the library in our programs similar to the GSL video, check it out if you haven't done that yet. And then, uh, yeah, this is how it works. And you saw that we, we compiled MMG and you know, uh, we already covered that in the video of installing PowerView and Gmesh that you, what you have to do is adding this, uh, this path to, to the, to, to the, to the current path of every bash session in bash RC. And then you can call this MMG 3D or uh, any other binary from everywhere 
so uh, yeah this is that is also part of this uh, uh, installation process but uh, yeah I, at this moment I don't want to do that okay so yeah that was indeed what I wanted to tell you about Installing MMG you saw that it was quite simple and as I told you there are lots of different things you can configure during the compilation and uh, Yeah uh, Make sure that you also Try this and uh, have this output and just see it in action and Yeah, so Have fun and see you later. Bye